So in this section, we are going to implement the slider for our application. So we will fetch in the data from the strapi and then we will display it on the uh, on the application. Okay. So first of all, uh, we need to add the content, uh, the slider information into the strapi. So before that, we will add the uh, slider content and then we will add the data into that one. Okay. So let's go back to our uh, strapi dashboard, right? Here, if you find uh, this content type builder, right? This is the plugin where you can add the content type. So let's create a new content type, uh, which is called a collection for our slider. So just type the uh, name, I will give the slider. So I will keep everything as it is, okay? Uh, we have advanced setting as well, but uh, I will keep everything as it is and create, uh, just go to the next, right? Here, uh, it will ask you to select a field for your collection type so we have different different options like text email password images a lot of things right so in this case i will say select first text and i will say name of the slider okay uh, then you have option whether this short text or long text okay or do you want to make it required field it's up to you okay i will keep for now as it is and then i will uh, also add a, another field and which is a media where uh, user should able to upload not user but admin should able to upload the image right so i will say image okay and uh, we have option multiple media or single media so we want to show only single media so i will select single media and in advanced setting i will make sure that it is a required field okay and if you see right we have different different option so right now it's selecting all but we can only add images uh, as a media type right it's up to you and i will keep as everything as it is click finish right once you are done with this one just uh, click on the save button so it will create the collection type of uh, for our slider so that now we can add the slider as much as slider we want from our content manager so right now it's restarting the application because we just added the new uh, collection right so we'll wait a few minutes later now once our application restarted right you will see the slider is everything added right now you can add it later if you want to anything right for for now for this section we just want this name and image right now go to the content manager and here you will see the slider section uh, the collection type which is slider we just created right and here you can create a new entry okay so let's click on new entry so here you can give the name of the slider so i will say slider one and now you can upload the image so this is a required field right so you can apply new image or you can have existing image which you can upload right, right now i have existing image so i will select that one and just click on finish okay and just click save so now once you save right uh, it's not it so it just it in the draft mode right now you have button called publish so just click on that until and unless you did not click on publish it will not publish actually right and if you go back now you will see this uh, particular slider images get added okay perfect now next we have to enable api for this particular uh, contents all the contents right so first of all go to the settings here you will find the uh, sorry you will find this user permission called use roles here in the roles you have called public right click on that one and inside this you will see this uh, our collection which we have right called slider don't touch any other i will suggest okay and click on slider here you can give the permission to access this a particular api right so it's a create a delete so everything option you can give it or you can just say okay just uh, want to fetch the data and don't modify anything right i will select all for now for our simplicity purpose and click save okay so if i click on find right you will see this, this <coughs> This is the API get point. <coughs> so let's try to access the particular API. <coughs> so, so in order to access this API, right, you have to uh, open this localhost, then select API and the endpoint of that particular API. So in this case, our endpoint is slash API slash slider means just a slider. Okay. So I will select like this if i enter it right you will see the slider information so inside this data we have id is equal to one then we have attribute called name and everything right but if you see we don't get the media media or the image url right because 
in order to get it right you have to write like this question mark populate is equal to star and if you click um, enter right now you will see the extra field called image and inside the image we have the url right here is the url so there we have a lot of option but because the thing is right uh different different format it will automatically convert your image in different different uh, size if you see right with height and the url for this one the small the medium size large size like that right you can control on that one it's up to you now we successfully uh added this api endpoints uh and we are able to access the endpoint from the stripe but right now anyone can access this one right uh, unauthorized user and everything so in order to avoid that we will create the api for our uh, sorry the uh, api key for our uh, uh, api and we will use that one so in the strapi we can do that so go to the settings here you will see this option called api token right from here you can create a new api token so click uh, on the create new api token and here you can give the name so in this case i will say uh, code box api then you can give the description if you want it will say the duration of the api right after um, whether that api is uh, will be um, ending on 7 days or 30 days 90 days right now we will select the unlimited then you have token type whether that particular api token will be on read only or full access or custom so i will say full access and you have to make sure that the uh, you want to give the access to everything right so you can give the custom one right now i give the full access and just click on save so it will create a new uh, api key so make sure you'll copy this api key but because uh, once you save it and you you go back it you will not able to see this api key so if you lose this one you have to create a new one right so i will copy this somewhere and uh, let go back here okay and now your api key is ready now you, that api key you can pass into the header of the api call and then you can able to access it so now in order to fetch data from the API, we are going to use this library called API source, which is depends on the Axios. Okay, so you can use Axios or you can use API source. For, for this tutorial, I am going to use API source. So in order to install it, uh, execute this line of command in your project. And uh, once you run it, right, then in the folder, go back to the shared folder. Here, we'll create a new file called global api.js where we will write all our api call here okay and whenever we want to access that api call we can access it from this global api.js file okay so let's uh let's write a code in order to fade data right if you go to the documentation of this api source you will find the way to in order to fade this data right so i will just copy this and paste it like this okay and this is a base url so we will replace this base url with our base url right and if you see this is our base url localhost 1337 okay so let's replace this one this one okay and here what i will do i will remove this accept okay and here we will add the api uh, key okay so in order to add api key we have to pass the api key like this and the key okay so we can copy the key which we copy in the last uh, uh, session and just paste it here once you paste it right just save it make sure you will import this create uh, from the api source okay now in order to write the api call right for example let's write a uh, um, endpoint call to fetch the uh, slider data right so i will say uh get slider is equal to okay. and here we can pass api so it has a lot of different method called we have gate we have post okay we have uh, update a lot of things okay put so in this case we want to fetch data so just write api.get and here we will pass the uh, url right means the endpoint so just api uh, the endpoint in this case the endpoint is the sliders okay that they this complete um, slider question are populate so like this okay and save it now in order to make it uh, eligible to access anywhere in the application right make sure you have uh, you will export this particular uh, endpoints uh, method right 
so just write like this so in, in the export dot export default you have to make sure you will export this eclipse slider eh? and save it okay. now let's go back to our home.js and where we will call our um this particular api right so go to the pages in the home.js so what i will do i will write method get slider okay and uh, here this is this will be a await function async sorry this is a async function okay and in constant result is equal to global api okay. so we are accessing the, our in a api call from the global api dot so in this case uh we have the get slider method right dot we have data so we want data right so just write data like this okay and console this result so console dot log and result okay now in order to call this one right we have to use use effect in built uh, react hook so you can write like this and now this use effect will execute every time uh, when you did not specify any empty array or something right so in order to execute this only once uh, when this component load I will pass the empty array okay and i will just call this get slider here like this okay and save it make sure your app is running now i'm just writing i'm consoling this particular result right and if you go back to the console you will see the result we are getting as a null right the reason is uh, if you go to this global api right we are using this localhost and localhost will not work uh, in the react native when you are trying to fetch data from the localhost api right so in order to fix this issue go to this uh, settings and in the setting we have this uh, option called network and internet and in the network and internet go to the wi-fi where you will find this ip address right copy this ip before address and replace it with your localhost okay and save it once you save it you will get you will find this data okay now your api will work so if you are using the localhost api right then make sure we replace with the um, the ip address okay now we got the data perfect 